doesn't stop. Right, so I actually climbed out of bed. I went to bed. In theory, I should be in bed. It's 14. I have to take my son to a doctor's appointment in the morning, 10 o'clock. Make a run down the road. So I should, but I couldn't sleep. It's too hot. Too bothered. Mine was going. It's like too much. Too much needs to be done. And yet we know there's only one thing that needs to be done. Truth. I was thinking about politicians. And when you, when you deal with politicians, we deal, deal with politics. You always, always get at least two sides. In the United States, predominance is going to be what? Democrats and Republicans, correct? Can you see that? All right. You talk to these two people, and I realize it's like talking to my children. You're going to ask them something, and they're going to give you two separate answers about the same thing. It's like asking what happened. And both of them are giving a different, uh, a different take on what happened. And at a, certain, at a certain point in time, you have to be like, somebody's lying to me. So what you two need to do is you need to go somewhere. You need to talk. You need to decide who it is that is lying. And then you come back and talk to me. Till then, you off the game where it is. You two need to talk. You two need to talk. We all need to talk. It all comes down to truth. If we're dealing with a political issue, and they're giving two different sides, and I ask them what the truth is, why are they giving me two different answers? Somebody's not giving me, giving me the truth. If it comes down to the point of, if we need to admit that the truth is we don't know, but we believe that we should do this, I plan to action, then say so. Keep it at that. If we can talk about the economy and how best to deal with it, and try to save it, protect it, make it grow, whatever. And I come up with, and I talk to them, and I get all these different ideas. And they both are telling me that it's the truth. Somebody's lying to me. If they contradict, someone is lying. So we need to figure out what the truth is. Give me everything. Give me what you're talking about, and then give it to me in truth. Break it down. I want you to show me, show me exactly why it is that your plan will work. Will work. And then tell me why. It might. What's the most amazing thing you ever saw? Mm -hmm. Was it something big? Mm -hmm. Or something small. Humongous. Something old. Yep, truth is oldest. And if they ask us something new, yeah, truth is pretty new to people. I heard that? You know, commercials are going on the web browser. But anyway. Um why might it not work? What is truth to that? If we develop a plan and truth of what possibly could happen if we do this and have different scenarios or what could possibly go wrong, then are we not preparing ourselves? If you have an idea, you have an idea. Who can validate, validate theirs the most in truth? Who can give me numbers? Hard numbers, not fudged numbers. Hard numbers, mathematics. Let the math do itself. And don't you start fudging and making the numbers lie. Numbers don't lie. People lie. All right? Why is that not being done? I feel that's how all issues should be approached. When the president has the issue, Obama should have been out and saying, look, this is what I think. And I don't know, I don't even not certain why it always comes down to blaming the president. The president has all these people he has to deal with, whether it's the Congress or the Senate, but he also has advisors. So why is it not that 
he goes to advisors and says, look, give me the plan. You can go give me an advisor from, from the Republican Party, from the Democratic Party, from the Tea Party, from um, uh, independence, whatever it is. Give me a plan. Spell it out to me. And spell it out to the people. He forever on TV. I don't watch him. But I know he forever on TV. Has he said this? This is what we think we should do. This is what we want to do. This is what we this is for, for all options. Let's spell out all the options. And this is what might go wrong if we do this options. This is the, the best plan we think is possible. And then it, it's gonna once again, if we don't hold politicians accountable to hope to speaking truth, if we don't even do that, then we are doomed. And it's showing that if we do not hold them to speaking truth, then we are doomed. Truth. This is plan, people. My people, this is the plan, and this is how we're going to move forward. If something goes wrong, and it could go wrong, if the truth is it could go wrong, then we will prepare for that. We will be prepared for that, and then we will change course and go this way. But you must be behind me. As long as I am speaking truth to you, as long as those behind me, as long as those of the government of all the branches are speaking truth to you, then you must believe in me. You must believe in truth, and this is how we're going to move forward. But we don't get that. I don't, I don't understand why we don't get that. Why well, don't do that? Once again, he has all these advisors. They're supposed to tell him what to do. If he don't know it, he's not supposed to know everything. It's like the head of a, any corporation. You have the people that work beneath you. You get the right people in, a, in, in the positions with the minds, the intelligence, with the smarts, who can give me the numbers. You give them a plan. You tell them, this is what I want to do. Speak to me. Speak to me truth and show me the plan and tell me why this will work, why it wouldn't work, and what are the options. And we move forward. And I don't understand that. Why? Why does it happen? You know why. You know why. 